No, you're. Leo, can you hear me? Leo, Elena, I'll blast a hole in the side walls of the central hub in 15 seconds. Follow the beacon signal. I'll give you cover with my cannons. Be careful. If you deviate even slightly from the beacon, you'll get burned. I'll try. See you soon. Good luck. I'm gonna need it. Chugged again, got again a little there. Or chugged two on the PS, on the PS2 version. Try not to veer away from the crosshairs marking the beacon. Roger. Is that the one? That was close. Good job, boy. Where's Sylvie? Don't worry, she's just fine. Good. Let me go and pick you up. It will require three minutes to stow away in the hangar and to pressurize. Please wait. You know, thank you for everything. Because you are with me, I survived. I feel the same. Thank you for helping me out. Is that the right usage of words to show human gratitude? <laughs> <laughs> sort of, yes. A boy in his bot. Well, what are you going to do now? What? After you reach Mars. You have an important mission, don't you? If it's okay with you. I mean, after you finish your mission... Genuti's duty on Mars is to penetrate the military fortress Alman and to destroy the fortress from the inside by self-destructing Genuti. Genuti will self-destruct? By deliberately overactivating the generator, Genuti will generate a maximum of 22.3 gigatons. That is equal to the power of 15 positron bombs. Wait a minute! You mean you'll deliberately explode this frame? What about you? All my functions aboard Genuti will cease. So it's a suicide mission? I thought it was you who told me not to waste my life! Pressurization is complete. Opening the hatch. Thank you. Ada! This is what I live for. This is the purpose of living. For those who have no life. Guys, how do you really broke broken up there? Well, that's a dark ending there. Remy LaBeouf. I wonder if in relation to Shia. Protagonist got through okay. We still don't have an answer as to what happened to um, Leo's parents or father. Two ending themes? I hate to take it like different ones depending on whether you have the good or bad ending.
And we are back. Last time, we beat Zone of the Enders, the second, um, the first game in the series, on the PlayStation 3. Just my audio a bit here for gameplay audio. And this time, we are playing, make sure this question update. Zone of the Enders, two, Mar as a corner Mars, this is on the PlayStation Five. Um. I uh, on that said, my capture device does not support HDR, so unfortunately, we're not getting any of that. Confirm subtitles are set up. So, we got bonuses here. Do will unlock after several playthroughs or over the course of play. Again. Here, lock on. Sub weapon. Guard dash burst. Okay, so this is like the word of the game. Down, sub weapon grab. Positive or negative reaction. Um. Now those are the classic controls. Okay, uh, oh, I guess this is like a toggle for, R I guess R1, L1 is a toggle, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna do normal this time. Hopefully let us change on the fly. I got burned the last time. Like a bit. So we're starting off with a strictly actual anime cutscene as opposed to just, you know. Okay. We got we got some CG here. We have summon engine. But that shot of Jupiter was animated as opposed to being a CG shot of Jupiter, it looked like. Hey. In the final 30 seconds, Henry G trashed out from field out. Man, we had a great time that night. 20 to touchdown. Can't wait for the new season. Position for landing. The people on Mars can start getting excited. I still have 200 more hours. Be a good kid and the time will fly. <laughs> That's unusual. What is? Indications of Metatron, but it's way too shallow. Angie, I want to change the landing point. I'll check it out. Okay. Rick, you hear that? I'll be back soon. Dingo, what team won in 66? I don't know much about back then. Ah. <laughs> Piece of junk. Okay. I reckon Ross Arsis is going to win this year. <laughs> there goes your entire salary. Um, Dingo, I think the Metatron reaction is from the erection of the arrow. Okay. Nice little tutorial here.
I do like the contrast this gives us in uh, with the with what a standard or frame looks like in comparison to Jehudi Lever later. Come on. Did I miss a prompt? It's not taking my prompts for inputs. Something interesting. I'll check it out. Hatch unlocked. Where? Because nothing weird came of uh that bad came of investigating yeah. cargo containers on a desolate planet. Yeah, um, so everyone back, everyone. Base camp is all dead. That's a big warship. Hello, Ada. So, whatever happened to Leo? I'm pretty sure that didn't happen when. Jehudi activated in the last game. Unless this is like Jehudi Zeta? A, a nice proper life bar. Confirming the enemy destroyed. What is the efficiency of this frame? 
This is orbital frame Jehuti. Do you want me to explain how to manipulate the frame? Who is this? This is detached backup battle unit, Ada. So this is a battle computer, isn't it? More reliable than the Lev's navigator. Oh, I can pan the camera. Do you request control instructions? Yes, Ada. Please. Time for the tutorial. Please choose what training you want to go through. I will explain about moving. Jehuti follows the left stick operations. See if anything's particularly changed about the mechanics here. Alright. Jehuti is set up not to do that right now. So, so it doesn't mention that. So, but Jehuti's voice is also coming out of controller speaker. Jehuti is set up not to do that right now. Our normal attack. I will explain about normal attack. When the enemy is at long distance range, the lock on marker turns green. It turns red when the enemy is at close range. That's kind of orange, but sure. Jehuti is set up not to do that right now. I will explain about dash attacks. Press the square button while dashing to perform a dash attack. In a close range battle, a dash attack becomes a dash blade. In a long distance battle, you can lock on to multiple enemies by pressing the square button. You can fire a homing laser by releasing it. Oh, that's a new mechanic! Okay, cool. All right. I will explain about burst attacks. When Jehuti is not moving, you can change to burst mode by pressing the R2 button. You can perform burst attacks by pressing the square button in this mode. A close range burst attack is a burst blade attack. A long distance burst attack is a burst shot. It basically serves as a guard break. Okay. I don't need to hold it. That's a pretty quick turnaround. Okay. I will explain how to guard yourself. By pressing the R1 button, Jehuti takes a guard position and can block enemy attacks. But not all attacks can be blocked. Is the throws can't be blocked. Okay. I will explain how to switch between locked targets. When Jehuti gets close enough to an enemy, Jehuti locks on automatically. 
If there are multiple enemies, you can select an enemy to lock onto by pressing the L2 button. Okay, so so the manual part switch is a bit less involved. So before I would use the right stick to to move around, I can't to adjust the camera while locked on. Somewhat. Okay. I will explain about the ring radar. When an enemy gets close to Jehuti, the ring radar appears. The ring radar turns green when the enemy is far away. It turns orange when the enemy gets closer. The size of the ring radar represents the distance from the enemy. And the location of the text when orients the, from the location of the enemy. Approaches Jehuti, a red ring radar appears. In this case, the marker shows the direction and distance of the incoming That's attack. a new feature. The closer the attacker gets, the larger the ring radar becomes. Ending the explanation of the ring radar. Combo smash. I will explain about combo smash. This is new, I think. In a close range battle, you can perform a combo smash with a normal blade attack. Press the square button three times consecutively. If the fourth press is the square button, you will slash and push back the enemy. The fourth press is the triangle button. You will slash and toss up the enemy. His square and his X down. Yep. If the fourth press is the X button, you will slash and throw down the enemy. We can aim them in breaker directions. By pushing an enemy to a wall, ceiling, or floor. You can cause additional damage. And you can avoid dealing damage to the environment. Ending the explanation of combo smash. Okay, I'll see if I can pull this off. Ring? That's all right. I will explain about camera control. If you are not locked on, Jehuti will move in the direction of the left stick. If you release the left stick, the camera will capture Jehuti from behind. Also change the camera angle with the right stick. When aiming at a certain spot to attack, you can move the target marker with the right stick. Ending the explanation of camera control. All right. Ending training. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. 
Also, please consider packing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.